Yo, what up? Somebody sent in Soul Blaze Trauma Staff for review. At least I think it's Soul Blaze. So I don't like this. You go this way through the left because this is where elites spawn and this is where elites spawn. So going in through the left has there's this box of cover and this box of cover. Going up this way, if it ends up being like a gunner here, you just run straight into them. So it's just, you know, it's just a small little thing to go the other way. This is, you gotta commit to something. He just tried to do three different things. Stab that guy, brain burst that guy, swap into trauma step. Just pick one thing and commit to it. You should be trauma staffing this to knock them over or, you know, it, it just, it just charges faster than brain burst, but this isn't terrible. So I like this going this way. This is the proper way to handle this room. You always go up and in this way. Because if you go this way, let's see if he turns around and looks at it. If you go this way to the left here and there's like seven elite gunners here, they just shred you and kill you in like two seconds. And that happens so goddamn often where people just fail this mission in this room because half the team dies trying to go the left. This up, the gunners can't shoot up this hill. It acts as cover. Yeah, and then you swap to the sword, you miss the head stab. It's totally fine to take the one hit. This this sucks. And now you're going this way. See, you see how they can't shoot up this hill? You always want to be up that hill, even if your teammates aren't doing it. The main reason, you don't know what's over here. Dude, there could be like a pack of absolute CBT right up here, and you have no way of knowing. And as soon as this fight starts, these guys come running down. You're all stuck out in the open. You're, you're fucked. Also, this ping is correct. You want to get in this room on the, as soon as possible. But you know what? The best way to beat, you need to be uh, dueling sword headshotting this to one-shot them. Uh, you, dude, look at all the pings going on your screen. There's, do you, you hear special spawning. You just heard a dog and like another guy spawn. There's a horde about to start and you're wasting time with this. Also, can't you just right click that and do it faster? Yeah, this is what you have brain burst for. Don't bother chasing this guy now. This is a horrible place to be out here in the open. Honestly, dude, straight up, just boosh. You, you, if you have to just boosh with the ultimate to get this stuff off you. If there's a lot of stuff here. You either want to be up these stairs or back there by this area because there's a crap ton of cover there. So you kind of screw up by going up here because now this procs this. You're going to have to use the ultimate here. No, you just let him run past the team. No, you should have absolutely just whooshed them as soon. Because look, we are three minutes into this clip. You haven't used your ultimate a single time. You're Psyker. You have Sears present, CDR. You have every on elite and special kill. You have cooldown reduction. You could have used your ultimate like four or five times so far but instead you've used it zero even if you aren't gonna like quell with it just use it to knock enemies over to keep them still you should absolutely not be focusing on any of this shit like like what what is going on here pull the sword out block shuffle back this way Turn around, spend the ultimate already so it'll get rid of your peril. It'll get soul blaze on all these guys and knock them over. As they're knocked over from the, the like, you, you hit F, immediately turn to the trauma staff. Boosh, boosh, they die. Look, turn around, alt them. Now, pull out the trauma staff. Boosh, boosh. Oh my, so, hey, do you guys remember what I was saying about you want to be over there? Imagine if the whole team went up there and they were fighting in that back corner. They have infinite cover, so none of these gunners can hit them. There's, they only have to hold one choke point. But instead, this is a fucking disaster. This is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where trauma staff really works. So you got to be comfortable with the Psyker move tech. You've got to pull out the trauma staff and you've got to like immediately sprint back, slide, charge, boom, uh, slide back, charge, boom, slide back, charge, boom, slide back, charge, boom. Also, heavy attack on the sword when you slide. You'll conserve some momentum and go a little faster. Okay, this is good. Yeah, this is exactly what you want to be doing with this staff. And then get ready for this, and then boosh immediately. Okay, boosh immediately. This We're leaving our ultimate on cooldown. We could be applying five stacks of Soul Blaze to that entire horde, all of that stuff. We could apply five stacks of Soul Blaze. It'll consume these charges. It, our ultimate will have like a 10 second cooldown. It, it'll stun them. It'll apply the dot to like 50 guys. It'll reset our peril, allowing us to trauma staff, to build the peril again, to immediately spend it, to reset the loop. 
Yeah, there we go. Now keep doing it. Just dodge this. No, don't pull the staff. Don't pull this out. You already missed the headshot. What are you doing? What are you doing? While you're running backwards, do the trauma staff. Trauma staff them. Heavy attack this guy. If you aren't going to pull out the trauma staff, heavy attack this guy. It takes one hit to the head. Trauma staff. Trauma staff, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, now ultimate. I'll find that horde in ultimate. Figure out where this gunfire is coming from. Ultimate. Just ultimate right now. Look, you have over 50% peril. It'll reset your peril, consume your charges. It'll start getting this on cooldown, and it'll cause all this horde to get staggered and die. And then, by the time those guys die from the Soul Blaze stacks, you'll have your charges back and your ultimate back. You'll be in an even better position. Please, just ultimate. Just spend it. Okay, it's, it's too late now. Also, yeah, the team being up here should have happened a long time ago. Because now, especially if a, if a Trauma Staff Psyker... Like, what, what are you doing? This, uh, look, ultimate Trauma Staff. You have so many strong options here. See, this is good. I don't like how you're holding on to this ultimate whatsoever. Part of playing Psyker is to spam your ultimate as much as possible. Okay, I'm going to skip this because, you know... Okay, so this is garbage going up here straight up. You need to have the trauma staff out and you need to be having that fully charged. The amount of times this next room spawns a boss or a horde or just it's absolute fucking cock and ball torture is basically every time on Maelstrom. So you absolutely need also your teammates have no ammo. And your trauma staff is way stronger than this sword. You need to have that staff out, charged up, ready to go. But instead, we don't have that at all. And now, so look, if you had the staff fully charged, you could have gotten like three, or I'm sorry, like three total uh, charge shots off right now. But instead, you only get one. And now you really want to get ready. Just turn to the left. You see how there's like 50 guys here? Just ultimate. Even though it won't give all five stacks of soul, excuse me, of soul blaze, it'll still put like four on, reset your cooldown, and it'll get them. The main reason you're doing this is so they die to the soul blaze to give you soul blaze kills, which gives you your charges back, which allows you to create an infinite loop of spamming the ultimate and the trauma staff at the same time. But instead, we're going to walk out of the bubble. Okay, this is smart. I don't know if you're using the soul blaze on kill because you're not getting stacks. Yeah, there you go, dude. Perfect trauma staff. Now get ready, then ultimate again. Now there's absolutely no need to be quelling here, my friend. You, so you will not blow up unless you do a charge shot at like 98%. Your alt is like four seconds off cooldown. This is where the magic happens. That was really loud. Come on, ultimate, ultimate, please ultimate. What are you doing? Ultimate, it'll get all these guys off you. It'll give them max stacks of soul blaze. It'll consume all your charges, making the alt have like a 10 second cooldown. Your ogren just wasted the bomb. Ultimate, shoot an ultimate right in there, right now. Oh my God, yeah, there you go. See, look, 10 second, and now everything is soul blaze. And now do this, you really should blow this up. Okay, somebody else got it, that's good. And then look, look, this is exactly what, so look, you did exactly what I said, and look, you've got all your resources back, your ultimate back, no peril, like, pressing that one ultimate, just that one time, was so impactful, that it basically cleared this entire horde. Just that one ultimate use, that's how strong ultimates are, and that's why cooldown reduction on your trinkets is the best role for trinkets. One ultimate made this big of a difference. Dude, ultimate again. Just shoot your ultimate again. Kill that horde. Get all the soul blaze going. Riveting trauma staff gameplay. <laughs> you, you don't want to stand next to this door ever because this door is their spawn point. You want to go near the Medicaid. And you also want to be ultimate. Just ultimate. It'll reset your peril. It'll get all these guys. Yeah, there you go. And now you keep doing this. And look at that. You're just killing absolutely fucking everything. Now, see, there's no need to quell here. And now you just ultimate, and that'll quell you. Yeah. See, that? now you're playing fucking Psyker. And look, you're just destroying everything. So when you make this drop down, you always want to drop down and walk into this room. Because it's just far safer. Yeah, this is where you want to be brain bursting. Brain Burst is super good here. Kill all this shit that your teammates don't want to. Yeah, knock them over. 
Yeah. This is pretty perfect. Now, I would brain burst that sniper. So your teammates went the proper way. That way is safer. This way is faster. You generally don't want to go this way. Now you're separated alone and like, what are you doing? Just smack this guy. There's a pox walker. Just fucking M1 it to death or do a heavy attack on its head. Slide under that. Heavy attack. Yeah. Nothing's really going on. Yeah, get ready for this trapper. Don't turn away from it. No, no, this is bad. You want to have that the dueling sword. You dueling sword, have, uh, charge, headshot this guy, and he just kind of dies. Ooh. Yeah, that was unfortunate. There you go. Yeah, you, you got to make sure not to hit that armor. Got to have the trauma staff out. Yeah, there you go. It doesn't really matter which of these, like, airlocks you go into. Oh my god, please ultimate. Holy shit, please ultimate. You will put soul blaze on, like, everything. Yeah, there you go. Look at this. You're fucking, you're starting to take up the kill feed. See, you don't ever want to do this where you just hit one thing. Keep the trauma staff in this choke point where all the enemies are. Yeah, turn around, get those guys. And now get ready to ultimate again. Just immediately ultimate, knock all this shit over. Ultimate, knock all this stuff over. Knock all this stuff over. Stop all your teammates from taking damage. Okay, well, we're not getting the ultimate. The longer your ultimate is on cooldown, the least the less effective it is. I never see in these in these videos for gameplay review, I never see people using their ultimate enough. Because look, you could have pressed ultimate there, applied soul blaze to everything, and at this point now, you're going into this tunnel, the ultimate would have came back up. It comes back way faster than you think it does. Yeah, this is what you want to do. You want to pick off the elites before you go down there. This is the whole point of bringing this. Yeah, this is fine because he's so far away. And people call Brain Burst bad. I wouldn't really have the sword out right now. I would be looking for trauma staffs. So you want to stick to the back and right of this area. Like where your teammates are set up. That's a much better place to be than this. I would hold Brain Burst out. Hold, uh, so when you want when you're gonna cross a long sight line like this, hold brain burst out while you're sliding. That way, if there's an elite there, you can just latch on to them while you w move into cover. I guess it matters less because there's a bubble here. Yeah. Also, the left click of the trauma staff is really like shockingly good. Boosh. Okay, I'm going to skip this. Actually, no, there's something I want to talk about. Why is your whole team up there? What are these guys doing? That's a little embarrassing. Yeah, I would just go up there. Like, we want to we want to get into some trouble here. If your teammates are going to be down there. Oh, this is absolutely... Okay, so we just heard... Yeah, ultimate. Just ultimate. It gets all this stuff off you. You stop taking damage. This is absolutely a use an ultimate scenario. Yeah, there you go. We don't want to just boost the one guy. We want to hit as many things as possible. Yeah, this is perfect. This is basically exactly what you want to do. Minus you actually want to be in the bubble. And then just ultimate again. Just do it again. Look, look, look at you're going crazy in the kill feed. And that's all because of the ultimate. The soul blaze that it put on. Do that shit again. It'll go through the walls. Dude, I would just ultimate, kill all this shit, not even worry about it, and just move on. I'm not a big fan of where you're fighting. But it's working, so you can't really say too much. Yeah, this pox burst here is going to be a problem. Ultimate! Oh, that was lucky. So ultimates on the, this ultimate will push the pox burster back. So there's really no reason not to do it. Yeah. 
This room can be really dangerous. I would walk into this room with the trauma staff charged. Oh, we're going back here. This is why I like the fucking combat knife, dude. Damn, three stabs? That was a lot of missed headshots. So, our teammates are dying, and we kind of, you know, we weren't able to support them because we were too busy opening a single small chest. Oh, yeah, ultimate. Yeah, perfect. See how that stuns them? And then you just keep them staggered with the trauma staff? Look at that. I don't know why we're fighting in the tox gas. What are we doing? What are we doing? Go back down the stairs. It's the same choke point. It doesn't change anything. You take no damage. The trauma staff and the ultimate go through walls. You're playing with cheats. You have, like, wall-piercing weapons. There's no reason to be near enemies. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Just that little mini charge boosh fucking staggered him. Allowed everyone to just dogpile on him. He's literally just smite, but better. Oh, yeah. Ultimate. You've got 50%. Go for it. Just ultimate. Yeah, there you go. And then keep doing this. That's smart. But you could have realized that he was going to fall off. But I can't necessarily blame you for that. Look at this. These bulwarks can't play the game, dude. They want a refund so bad right now. They want a refund so bad right now. They're literally stunlocked. That was pretty stupid. I don't think I need to explain to you why that was pretty stupid. The trauma staff basically always pops pox bursters. So if you're hugging a corner tight, you can never do that. Yeah, get up there. Start booshing this shit. Yeah, there you go. You ultimate. You knock everything over. You keep with the boosh. Keep knocking this stuff over. Keep this all under control. Dude, keep this. Trauma staff, what are you doing? What are you doing? You have not hit anything in like the last seven seconds. You should have the trauma staff out. They're all grouped up. Yeah, knock them over. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. It just turns them off. It allows you to set this stun lock up. Your teammates are thanking you. You should have pinned that grenade. The zealot needs them. We're going to skip this because this is literally just an empty hallway. Okay, this event... This event is... Um, it's a thing, alright. There's definitely a wrong way to do this event. But there isn't exactly a right way to get it done either. Oh, that was the clutch shield. I would just ultimate this. Get the get it on cooldown. Get the cooldown ruling. Remember, A, remember the ABCs of video games. Always be casting. If you if it, if the cooldown ain't rolling, you're wasting uses. You know, you're you're I, you're saving it to fight God. But God's never coming. People treat ultimates in this game like consumables in JRPGs where they never want to use them. So far though, this is pretty good. Though the event has started, you gotta like, you gotta go. I would not even, I would either, if you're, if you're sitting here to Medicaid, either grab it and go to the objective. Because the objective's already started. The Endless Horde has begun. You are just wasting time. If you're not going to Medicaid, get your ass in gear. Get over there. Ultimate. Bully them. Knock these dudes over. Press your ultimate here to knock them down so that you can just run up and start doing the objective. You should always, on these kind of objectives, run to the furthest one that your teammates are ignoring. You have a safety ultimate here to push them over. So, well, that was smart to hit the barrel. Yeah, you need to be trauma staffing it. Yeah, there you go. Okay, you ulted. You built yourself space. Well, it took you a little long to put the trauma staff out. Can I mention how sickeningly up close this FOV is, by the way? It's like impossible to tell what's going on sometimes. Yeah, just knock your feet. Check those shoes, playa! Oh, this is beautiful. This is exactly how you want to use this staff. You should be spamming ping in this scenario, like the, the mark target, so that you can mark the dog. 
And then you want to just stab the face of the dog. And then you want to stab that thing's face. Stabbing that ugly face. So far, this isn't going horribly. I would be trauma staffing that horde as you're running. Yeah, there you go. You're going to use it. Bring it. Might as well use it. Hop over it. You can... No, you should walk over that. You can bunny hop through fire. If it's barrel fire, you can bunny hop through it and you won't take damage. Trauma staff. Yeah. Yeah, see, this is exactly what you want to do. You use you spent the ultimate, so the cooldown's rolling. You got value from it. Now you're getting significant value from the trauma staff. And you're backed in the corner. And look, your ultimate's about to be on cooldown. You just use it on cooldown again. Yep, you just use it again. Shoot it in there. Just shoot it in there. Get them all on fire. It'll deal with these gunners. Okay. Well. It has a huge range. It'll hit all that shit running in. Yeah, if you see an objective isn't getting done like this, you're gonna have to be the one to do it. Sit on this. Sit on this and let your teammates do the other ones. You guys are way too spread out and you're not... Wordless communication. If you just hog one objective, eventually your teammates will recognize that you're effectively calling it. Now, some people are just fucking idiots and they will never make that realization. And those are the people that make you just not want to play the game. Look at that, your ultimate's almost back. And then if you see a big crowd of guys, just ultimate them because, you know, you're going to be in an elevator anyways. Not like it's going to do you any good in there. You want it to be on cooldown going into the elevator. The reason that all of the, like, sweaty tryhards like me put the ultimate icon dead center in the screen is so we can basically spam it on cooldown. That's the reason it's there. You know, we're, we're not trying to just stare at it as it's, you know, looking pretty, glowing. Yeah, this is a pretty standard fight. We're going to skip this. So this room is the potential to suck balls. But if you can re get up to this choke point, it's pretty good. There really aren't too many strategies. Oh, dude, I would absolutely ultimate to knock all this gunner fire over. Yeah, don't quell. Why quell when you can ultimate? S just... Well, now you have to. Shame, you didn't get to aim it in any particularly impactful direction. Oh, yeah. It's trauma staff gaming time. Okay, our teammates suck. Oh, my. We didn't pull the melee out beforehand to get the block when we were reviving. Travesty. You should be looking at that choke point with the trauma staff. Like, I get you kind of have to defend yourself here, but you are the best choke point fighter ever. You know, you're like Rocky for choke points. I like how you had to ping it. No reason not to ultimate here. You don't lose anything by doing it. You know, we're holding it to save God, to fight God again. Or you could just walk out there and just, you know, just let it rip. Get fire on, get soul blaze on all those guys. Or we're just going to shoot seven bolts into cover and not hit anything. Not even get a hit marker. That was strange. What are we doing right now? Brain burst stuff. Shoot the left click. Do anything. Do anything other than looking into the abyss. Oh, that almost one shot. You might you might actually want to consider maniac damage on your sword because it looks like your sword is rolled in a way that it almost barely doesn't kill mutants. Yeah, there you go. Knock this fool over. What are you what are you doing? Brain burst the elite gunner. You have you literally just jump up and then brain burst the one guy. Oh, yeah, we got to grab those crafting mats. Oh, we're not going to mark the grenade? That took way too long. You can just be hop over this fire, pick it up as you're hopping out of it. Oh, that's a shame that you didn't get that.
this is not an awful place to use this. Oh. This guy's RPing an ogre. He'd rather reload than deal, deal with the mutant. Listen, buddy, just because you're playing one doesn't mean you have to RP, is it? Alright, I would have the staff out, pre-charge it, because there's always just a metric fuckload of enemies down there. No, we're gonna we're gonna walk into it, realize there's a bunch of enemies, and we need the staff. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Come on, get the staff out. Start doing staff things. This is peak trauma staff right here, dude. Dude, my deeds. There's actually not that much here right now, so. What a shame. What a rotten way to die. Oh my god, we do not know how to fight ragers. We do not know how to fight ragers at all. So your teammates fucked up. You know how they put that uh, heal pack? Let me just scroll back. You know how they put the heal kit right here in this airlock? Yeah, don't ever do that. Pro tip for everyone. Don't do this shit. What you should do is place it down here after the drop down because you will spend more time down here on the drop down than you will up there. And if you're in this drop down and you're realizing, wait, we're so close to the next Medicaid and there doesn't seem to be anything going wrong, we don't really need this med pack, then it's just a waste. The reason you place it down here is because you will have to deal with more things after the drop down than you ever will before the drop down. Now, if you hear a horde spawn, if you walk into this airlock and you see the fucking Croatian military just armed and ready to gun you down. Then like you then drop the thing because you're like, OK, a horde is spawning. They're charging us. There's like 50 gunners here. We're going to be here for a while. Here's a medipack. You don't ever really want to preemptively medipack. It's always a dog shit idea. And you're about to see why. So you see how you and the other psyker take a bunch of damage. If the medipack was down here, everyone would have still gotten healed up. But now, damage you take after the drop down doesn't accumulate. So if you were going to medipack, you either want to hold it until you know for a fact you're going to need it. I, I know you didn't do this, by the way. I'm just talking, like, for anyone listening. Come on, we got 20 warp charges. We want to get in the shit right now. Or, I mean, we got five warp charges. Or, I mean, we got six warp charges. Sorry, I had a... I had a uh, fuck you. Roll one. Don't talk to me. Why didn't we finish this brain burst? Did we just have a Joe Biden, like, brain seizure? An ammo crate. Let's see. So, hey, guys. Do, 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 do. Do you think the Psyker's going to pick it up? Yes or no? And if the Psyker's not going to pick it up, do you think one of these two is going to grab it and then use it because they already have one? Or do you think they're just going to walk past it and not pick it up? Reminder, Auric Damnation. What do we think is going to happen? Okay, he dropped the book for it. Okay, so he picked it up, used it, dropped the book for it, instead of just pinging it for this guy to grab it. Well. Okay, ping it 17 times. Oh, okay, no, he did grab it. Okay, good, good, good. The good ending. I thought he fucking grabbed it and placed it down. Why are we running back here? Well, now there's a horde sound playing, so now we definitely want to stay back here. But that was lucky. You got lucky, mustache spider. You and your luck have an ass. Okay, we get we we absolutely just throw an ultimate down there. What are you doing? Trauma staff! Trauma staff, please God, this is peak trauma staff. Look at all that wonderful blue. What are you you're not trauma staffing anything? Throw it in the choke point. Throw it over here where they all are. Your aim is sucks. Bro, try aiming. Get in the aim lapse. And then we get ready to do this again. Oh my god. Pe peek. Peek. Throw it down. Throw it down. Put Soul Blaze on all that shit. Throw it down. 
Do it. Do it. Do it! It goes through walls! Do it! It goes through walls. Goddamn, so many enemies, the goddamn OBS is crashing. I like how we're still... Okay, finally we get an ultimate. Bro, the FOV so damn zoomed up, you can't even tell what's happening. That was incredibly smart. Jumping manually so you get extra airtime for a trauma staff shot. Good shit, dude. You get a fucking pat on the back for that one. That was some high-level tech. Yeah, this is the area to be. This is where you want to fight this stuff. You have a ton of room to roam. Boop. Boop. And they say you need uncanny strike. Oh, wait, you are using uncanny strike, you fucking idiot. Never mind. No props. You get no props, you dumbass. You dumb fuck, skirt fuck loser. Look at this. Look, look, look. Oh, uh, uncanny strike sure helped out a lot there. Uh, uncanny strike sure helped out a lot there. Now that I know you're you're an uncanny strike using bitch ass, you, I'm biggest hater. Biggest hater on the planet Earth. Look at that uncanny strike. Really, really did a lot for us. Bitch ass, uncanny strike ass users. That's pretty smart. Using going for brain burst there. Yeah, you can't. That's an awkward place. You can't really hit it there. So I would run up to the Medi station and I would get info, you know, how what many charges. What all do we get to do with this? So, all right, place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Do you think he's going to take this now and potentially take damage later before the next drop down? Or are we going to chill for a bit? See what we can kill with the staff and brain burst first, just in case the situation goes awry and we can hold on to the heal for a little longer. What are we going to do? We're going to use it. Thank you. Now, if we take damage before we open up this door, that's going to be a problem. Oh man, I feel bad for this zealot. Even though he's a he's a wounds using bitch ass ninja. I don't know why you waited. Oh my god. That's smart. Okay, smart play number one. We got some good trauma staff going on. I wish you would actually hit things with it though. You are the only man on planet Earth who gets this big-ass AoE and misses like three times in a row, my friend. <laughs> that that was not clean. That was not pretty. That was not regulations. You are not winning a medal for that. You are getting told to go back to the to the start. That was pretty rough. I, I won't lie. Okay. I mean, this is barrel fire. We can be bunny hopping over this. There's no need to stand here and do nothing. What? What are you doing? What? What are you doing? Habib, my friend, you are ruining the car. What are you doing, my friend, Haral? Man, either dedicate to going straight and killing these gunners or go back and help your team. Just pick something. Oh my goodness. You can ultimate if you need to. You'll get a bunch. You'll get a bunch. Dude, what is going on? Slide. Slide. Okay. So we could slide. We can ultimate. I'm going to set myself on do not disturb because I'm getting messages out the wazoo. Hold on. I need to. I need to go on the DND. Okay. So uh, here's what we need to do. Sorry about that. I was getting. I was distraction city. We either need to just chill and cover and let our toughness regen. We need to ultimate to knock them over and get our toughness back. Or just run at them sliding so that we can't take damage. Those are all good options. You, however, chose the worst option. Okay, so we're back out here. We've made no progress. Look, the Ogren is being a dumbass Ogren. Do not go and assist him. Just continue on with the, the objective. What are we doing? We're just standing and looking at Timbuktu.
Well, at least we got something for it. We killed a Reaper. Oh, we're not going to grab the combat stim? The most impactful stim in the game? The stim that gives you like 25% rending? I mean, you're already using Uncanny Strike! Oh, dude, this is beautiful. Yeah, don't worry about that loser. Yeah, there you go. And look, 10 second cooldown. You're going to get to do it again. I don't know why you're straying away from your team now. Oh, yes, we've got to open up the small crate that very likely has nothing in it. That's very important. Boosh. Boom. 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 Oh, this is perfect. Butte Blast City. Now throw the ultimate out. Throw the ultimate out. Quit being a bitch. Just go down there. Yeah, there you go. Go to the right. Go to the right. Go to the right. The red room. Go into the red room. You always want to go in the red room. All right. We got a boss. This is where Trauma Staff Psyker is not very good. But this is where Gun Ogren is very good. So your job here is to deal with the horde first, then try to grab the boss's aggro second. What are you doing? What are you doing? Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Oh my god, what? What? I, I, sorry, I just, I just, I, 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 I'm having a Joe, I'm having a Joe Biden seizure moment. Okay, what just happened here and what was the logical thought process? So we, we missed that first hit. Then we hit the next one. We do, this is smart. Okay, so instead of sitting here killing the gunners, here's what you do. You run back, run right here. Turn around, ultimate, kill things. But instead, we jump down here. Okay, fine, you don't want the gunners to shoot you, fine. So we stay here, turn around, and kill things in the staircase choke point. Or we run straight into the boss. We don't even get just a courtesy smack on the ass while we're running past them for some damage. You could have hit that boss, grabbed his aggro. Hold on, look. So right here, hit the boss, jump over the railing, and then run around this back area, having the boss flipped around so all these guys can shoot its weak spot. There you go, that's the plan. Or we just sit back with our team. Okay, this is fine. This is the best alternative. But now you really are going to want to, uh, you know, whoosh, ultimate. Or we jump down here and now we can contribute absolutely nothing to the fight. Okay, stim up that Ogryn. Run back up there and stim the Ogryn up. Give him a shit ton of damage. Okay, the boss went after us, so that's good. Okay, so what you do, right here, hold on. There's a room right behind you. Do your back left, run back there. Or we're going to stand here in the open with gunners shooting at us and a boss in front of us. This is an option. Okay, uh, Psyker just blew himself up. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like using that. Smart. Stab this dude's bussy. Okay, we got to deal with this. You are a trauma staff. You can deal with this. Okay, back here is fine. This is an okay place to be. Ultimate! Okay, alright. No, you didn't need to. He wasn't... If he was jumping at you about to blow up and you don't ultimate there, though, you do get hit. So, no reason to take that risk. Okay, yeah, we want to get some control over the situation. Just let the boss go for you. This is fine. Kill all these elites. Let the boss go for you. Now, you know there's a bunch of maulers and shit running in somewhere. And that's what you're strongest at dealing with. Run in there. Run it. What are you doing? No. Don't tell me we're about to watch you stand here for the next 40 seconds and brain burst the boss. Please don't tell me that's about to happen. Come on, bro. Thorn. Thorn. Baby, please listen to me. Please listen to me. I know that you know that you're not retarded. At least I hope you, you think. I hope. I hope you're not. So I know that you know that I know that you know that I know that you're not about to sit here and brain burst this boss. You're going to run in there with the dueling sword and you're going to attack it and do five times the damage 
and you're going to lock him still because he's going to try to hit you with his tail, and that's going to turn him around for your team to hit you his weak point. I know that you know that I know that you know that I know that you know that I know that you know to do that, and you're about to do that. I'm not about to hit the play button, and we're not about to witness like three brain bursts back to back. I know that you know that I know that you know that I know that you know that. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. And you know what sucks? That was the best boss damage your fucking team was throwing out. Oh, man. Oh, mierde. Mierde, 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 mierde. Up a welle. So I have a video on my channel. It's called How to Solo a Beast of Nurgle. I highly recommend watching that because you're scared to be close to him. You need to not fear the closeness, man. You got to you got to embrace the hug, you know, em embrace the homie love. So here's what you need to do. You need to figure out how to be in front of him and you need to stand your ground and you need to say my dick is not small. I'm not intimidated by yours. The BBC doesn't scare me. And you need to be using the dueling sword. This fucking ogren has no ammo and is shooting trash mobs with it. I hate ogrens. I think the reason I don't like ogrens is to do with the fact that 90% of them have a mental deficiency. Come on, bro. You got uncanny strike on that sword. Isn't this like the whole reason you people use this? But wow, uncanny strike sure helped a lot there, by the way. Though, 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 though. We hit him once with the sword, got our first stack of uncanny strike, and then hit him again. So when it would actually be useful and apply, he was already dead. Almost like everything I say about Uncanny Strike is true and it's overrated garbage. Ooh, see? You have a higher crit rate without Uncanny, just saying. Just saying, you can use, you can use Finesse without Uncanny, I'm just saying. Consistently, oh yeah, I would, I would deal with that Pox Burster. Hell yeah. Oh my god, please hit the head. That was a little embarrassing. You want to go through this red room? Remember, do not fear the red rooms. Oh my god. Boom! Oh yeah. Peak staff right here. Boom. Boom. Bam. Bop. Oh, yeah. Ultimate that shit. Get the soul blaze on him. Yeah, there you go. See, look. Look at that. Motherfuckers all the way over here got hit with the soul blaze. Through a wall and down two flights of elevation. That shit is OP, dude. Fuck that bitch ass up. Oh. Pop. I like how the Ogren gunned that thing to death, even though you both were in melee range, sh uh, attacking it. God, I hate Ogrens. So far, this run is okay. I'm probably going to skip most of this event, no offense, but this event is the most brain-dead easy thing in the entire game. This event fucking blows. You just, everybody camps on a doorway and just kills everything. So you definitely don't want to be where you are right now, though. You want to be over there. Oh, walking into that when he's stunned, that was, you have more testicular fortitude than I. Yeah, you just chill here, kill everything, and then you all just fucking spawn camp them for the rest of the event. Thank you, Fat Shark, for this wonderful bit of game design. I don't think I need to watch the rest of this video. I mean, this end event has is brainless. Hold on, what the fuck are you guys doing? What's going on? Wait, people are going down? Hold on, what is happening? I didn't know it was possible to go down on this event. But your teammate managed it. Twice, actually. He managed it twice. Oh, 
Stand live. You think that's a racist slur in the Warhammer universe? Come on, bro. Trauma staff. Let your teammates take the those 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 smacks. Yeah, you just trauma staff all this shit. How are people going down? Just go up to their spawn point and just fucking trap them. Oh my god, the trauma staff is putting in work right now. Yeah, get up there. Stay up top. Go sit by the spawn point right in the middle and kill everything. Bro, you could do this event with an M1 macro for the most part. I like how you ping this. You need to ultimate this to apply soul fire to all of this garbage. I'm actually watching people in this this update get overpowered in this event. Throw out the ultimate. Yeah, trauma staff is good at defending people. Yeah, if you're not going to camp their spawn, this is the next best way to do it. Everybody just stays as one, moves together. Okay, you're in the perfect place. I would put your med kit down here. Sorry, I'm yawning. Place your med kit down here. Encourage people to stand here. This is where they tend to spawn. You haven't used your med kit at all. Where are you going? Bro, bro, brother in Christ, this is not the place. You see how everything is spawning there? Listen, I'm going to give you a pro tip from a pro player. The spawn points in this event are right there and like right there. So if you stand in between those two, drop a med kit and you just boosh, 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 Motherfucking zealots will sit there with an M1 script the entire event and just attack through the wall. And like, that's that. Yeah, did you just you and one guy walk over to this? Yeah, just throw out the ultimate. I mean, this is just close quarters combat. Like, I can't say much that I haven't already said. What the fuck killed you? Oh, you only placed a med kit down when you needed it. Don't do that. Place the med kit down early in these events. That way you get to benefit throughout the entire event, not at the literal last second. And if you're going to place a med kit down, actually stand in it and ping it for other people. Well, you did ping it, so I will say. Yeah, uh, let's see what the scoreboard had to say. You bet it, you're using a scoreboard, right? Okay, you were the top, you, you, you took the least damage, you dealt the most damage, and you killed the most things. Yeah, that's pretty typical if you're, uh, oh my god, you're playing, you were, you were a console player too? Oh my god, that explains the bad aim. See, this is what happens when you're a fucking Tanner Lindbergh viewer. Even if you are a console player, you will still end up killing the most and taking the least damage. Man, pubs suck in this game. 